everybody. Happy Friday. Hello. So, when it comes to summer plans, we're working, we're doing odd jobs again. That includes weeding, babysitting, tutoring, more weeding, a little bit of gardening, watching houses, pretty boring stuff, but it's money. Yeah, it's good. Um, also be doing fun stuff, hanging out with friends, um, eating a lot, going to various restaurants, um, yeah, studying, writing. What are you studying? Um, Latin, Italian. Also Italian, but I'm not studying Latin. Yeah, um, I'll be recording an album with my band that should be done sometime this summer. Uh, playing various shows, things like that. Should be good. Very good. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We've decided to take y'all to the Audubon Zoo today. So, uh, since the zoo is an important part of our summer plans, we try to go as much as possible, probably once a week if we're lucky. So, I've got a joke. How do you get down off an elephant? You don't get down off an elephant, you get down off a duck. So these are western lowland gorillas. The surliest of all apes. We're now heading zoo. This is Murray. He's a Nigerian dwarf goat. He's pretty cool. So whenever I go to the zoo, I get this delicious sticky goodness called Roman candy. And it's awesome. These are white pelicans. Uh, they're less common than the you know, brown pelicans around here. But, uh, you know, you're starting to see more of them in the wild, especially if you go out in the marsh fishing or something. There's a lot of white pelicans out there. These are red-eared spiders. They're the most common turtle at the park. Which bear is best? Well, there are two schools of thought. Fact. Black bear. So of course, no Louisiana Zoo would be complete without a swamp exhibit where we have got tons and tons of gators. And here is an example of an American alligator. They're pretty cute, aren't they? They're covered in uh, duckweed algae right now, though. But yeah, we got a lot of them at the zoo. One of the great things about the zoo is the great natural beauty. You can see, you know, all the trees around are native to Louisiana, pretty much. Uh, there are oak trees that are over 200 years old here. The cypress tree is certainly over 100. We are the only zoo in the world that displays recipes next to the animals. This is our bobcat exhibit. He's currently getting a nice, nice drink because it is extremely hot outside. So this is the zoo's iguana. This is the first time I have ever seen him. I'm super, super excited. Our zoo has recently added a poetry collection around it. And so just at the different exhibits, you walk through and you see poetry ranging everywhere from like, I don't know, Emily Dickinson to Maya Angelou to a known <laughs> New Orleans poet. But it's a pretty cool thing because you know, poetry and animals, what, what could be better? Thanks for joining us everyone, and happy Friday, we'll see you next week.